Good afternoon you wee bastards and welcome back to another What Thunder video with Koala. This one's just going to be a real quick kind of announcement slash reaction to Gaijin's announcement. If you haven't seen, Gaijin released helicopter footage at Gamescom yesterday confirming that they will be coming to War Thunder this very next patch. Are we ready for this? Probably not. Will they have issues? Undoubtedly. But if you think for one moment that that's going to stop me from getting way too overhyped about these things, Clearly you forgot how naive I can be. So, enjoy the footage of Gaijin's reveal trailer for helicopters, which, by the way, to any Gaijin employees who happen to see this, was excellently put together. I mean, damn. Makes me hard. Okay, so Gaijin confirmed several other little bits of information in this dev post, and apparently we'll be getting some run-of-the-mill dev vlog style posts coming soon for these helicopters as well as the couple of planes and tanks that are sure to be coming as well in patch 1.81. So I'm excited for that. Devblog videos are usually my most popular and it gives me a chance to look at some historical information of these vehicles, as well as some in-game predictions. I don't know too much factually about helicopters, but I do know what Gaijin said, which is that these things will only be coming for the US and USSR initially, with other nations soon to come. We have UH-1 Hueys and AH-1 Cobras for America and the MI-24 Hind as well as some old cargo slash troop carrier with rockets that I, I cannot even remember the name of. I'm a wee bit tired as of recording this video. But that's coming for Russia. The helicopters will be put into a separated tech tree which will become automatically available to begin researching if you have rank 5 air aeroplanes. Can't say aircraft anymore. I'm not sure if that means that you have to have rank 5 Americans to begin researching Hueys and Cobras, but you can't research the Soviet helicopters unless you also have rank 5 Soviet planes, or if having a single rank 5 vehicle for any nation unlocks the chopper trees for all of them. So if you do know, please let me know in the comments. Actually, I should say that for all of this video, if you have updated information a day or two in the future, or any corrections about what I'm saying, comment below. I haven't seen Gaijin's live streams yet, so I don't know if any information they gave out there might correct what I'm saying. So the helicopters will be launched in a CBT way, similar to how naval forces and new nations are usually released, but you can buy your way in with one of the two premium helicopters. Yes, that's right, premium. The Russian Mi-24D Hind and the American UH-1C Iroquois or Huey Hog will be available as premium helicopters for anyone to buy and will instantly unlock the research trees for you as well, so definitely consider picking these bad boys up. I don't know pricing yet, but they're probably going to be worth your money. I'm going to get one, so comment below which you suggest I get. I'm thinking the hind, but I'm open to whatever you guys vote on. I'm not going to talk history or stats until we get some dev blogs for these vehicles, which should be in the coming few days, and if you want to hear some gameplay predictions as well as seeing some gameplay of a user-made Huey, I'll link you to a video I made back in April of this year when these things were first confirmed. I've no idea what other helicopters or variants may be added, but comment below if you guys do know more. Update 1.81 is rapidly approaching, and it's looking to be a pretty big one with the likelihood of some significant work on naval forces, possibly more modern tanks, air-to-ground guided missiles now, and helicopters all in one patch, as well as some rumours about Italian tanks. I'm hugely excited, particularly for the missiles and what they might mean for air combat, as honestly I think I'm one of the biggest fans in the community for Gaijin implementing more modern jets into the game. Don't let me down, Gaijin. Not again. Actually, as you watch this video, I'm live streaming the Operation Summer, or Suffer, event over on Twitch, so definitely come join me there if you want to see some PogChamp Jet gameplay. Hopefully, there'll be a video out on the FJ4B with its missiles next week, as well as dev blog content and some regular old videos here or there. By the way, guys, a formal thank you for 5,000 subscribers. We hit that massive milestone a full month early, and it means so much to have your support for the channel. Hopefully this time next year, we'll be at 50,000, and I'll be over at Gamescom with Mike, Fly, Squire, and all the rest of them that are there right now. Anyway, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please leave a like if you did, subscribe if you haven't already, and definitely let me know in the comments what you think of this development, as well as voting on which of the two premiums I should buy. And please leave a comment with your most anticipated vehicle of this next patch, chopper or otherwise. Come follow me at all the links in the description below and on this live stream. And always remember, keep your bagpipes to hand, your kilt on, and get to the chopper!